custody for that support role at the moment, unfortunately. At least may see the pick up here. Not one of Crumbs' highest rated junglers. He does have three plays on her at one and two so far. Mm -hmm. He's going to be locked in. He'll be able to create pressure. Scara leaving himself to pick last, as usual. As you said, though, you know, don't always want to be looking back towards uh, previous records uh, to scare you away from a champion. Right. Uh, right. You know, Crumbs needs to have the confidence just like Inox needs to still have confidence. Mm -hmm. Elise is a great early game jungler and it's it's highly priced, so it's a good answer as well to Pantheon. He can he can counter a lot of what Snoop Bay will be looking to do here. Dignitas, as you just saw on the screen, they seem quite happy with their pick so far. Mm, Very yeah. bright spirits. EG is considering. You see the Thresh, the Elise, the Sivir, they have to be able to play safe here. That helps with the Morgana so far, but what else can they put into this composition? Yeah, so they've got um, very long range engage uh, from Pantheon mm -hmm. for the late game. Good good lane ganks for him. Their bottom lane, very safe. Very, very safe bottom lane uh, versus the Sivir and Thresh. They'll probably be looking to shove in Ooh. that lane. Meanwhile, Dignitas, Dignitas will be looking for that late game Sivir Stampede style. Comboing him, her movement speed with Shivana to try and get right up next to the Caitlyn. Ben, we do end up seeing the Yasuo though. Very excited to see Inox try and take this one again. Yeah, he has two plays. He's 0-2, but he's not scared off it. These guys have to go back to the champions that are gonna allow them to make the plays. You see Zion Spartan on Jax Jax Lee Sin. He uh -huh. is going crazy. You gotta put him on what they're gonna feel comfortable on. Yeah, and then Dignitas locking in the Karthus once again for Skara. Mm -hmm. He's he's pretty much the main uh, proponent of Karthus uh, now in North American LCS. He's been playing it a couple times there, and he usually does uh, take exhaust because you know Pantheon. He's an all-in ganker. Right. When he comes, uh, if you can get that exhaust on him early, he doesn't have an escape uh, because you know uh, he's going to have to burn his flash if he wants to get out. And this Dignitas team is looking really strong in the late game. Uh, even Karthus, really, really big yep. uh, beneficiary of the move speed that Sivir will bring late. So everybody going to be looking to swarm for those team fights for Dig uh, in the late game. Meanwhile, EG, they're going to try and make it happen a little earlier. A little earlier would be very good. We're going to quickly check in. I'm going to touch on that again, too. We're going to check in with the voting at LOESports.com who you think is going to win. 62% of you think that Dignitas is going to come out on this game. And to touch on that point I was just talking about mm -hmm. is that early game, Crumbs went down on Elise versus EG in the uh -huh. same instance. He's and in the video when he said, I'm not going to feed. And in the interview he said, as long as we don't die level one. Yeah. He meant as long as I don't die level <laughs> one. So he's going to be much more cautious this time around. He's I just think. taking the weight off a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he'll be venturing too deep into the early jungle there. But the combos late game for EG that we'll be looking for. Very excited to see. Shockwave into uh, Yasuo. the Yasuo ultimate. And Pantheon will be the one trying to start these off. Mm -hmm. um, you can try and corral the enemy team by placing that Grand Skyfall uh, behind them. And right. then it serves pretty much the same effect. You're trying to get the team to charge in one certain direction for you. As that level six comes around, we will see... Dignitas wants to grab themselves up that Talisman of Ascension to go along with On the Hunt. It's a very easy way to get out of the man drop so they can keep themselves safe for a good reinitiation. But right now, we got quite a bit of early game to go through. The coin quickly picked up by Crepo here to start, or sorry, yeah, to uh, start this one off. Yeah, coin for Crepo, so a little bit weaker <coughs> trades, but more gold generation and going to serve him well in the lane that they're going to try and be shoving anyway. Mm -hmm. They're just going to try and win that by shoving up minions. This is the exact same strategy here. Yellow Pete zones out Skara, so they don't have vision of the whole team. Sneaking into the bush, and he barely misses. The blind Q there. Cutie Pie calculated that one, standing in the forefront of the bush. We actually just got word that Crepo is running 17.5 cooldown reduction at level one on his support mord. Yeah, uh, looking to stay back, make use of the mana regeneration there from the coin. Throw out bindings. He's not mm. looking for auto attack trades because he does not have that Doran shield. Meanwhile, we see a ward, a true ward yeah. from Crumb started. So Crumb's with a little bit less HP potions in his inventory. Um, it's not going to hurt Elise at all. Very, very easy for her to use Spiderlings to tank a mm. lot of the jungle. So one of the few champions that 
will opt to start with more vision. Definitely going to help them out in the early game. And Inox with a little bit of stutter step. Classic. He is dancing. It's easier to do on the water. It's kind of like hydroplaning. Oh, yeah. Let's see. You just kind of slide along. See what they have for each other. We are going to have Crumb starting in that top lane. Obviously, junglers, or not top lane, starting on the top side. Junglers at the reds. And they do get that help out. So we're going to have the early two from I'm a Cutie Pie and Kiwi Kid. We'll see if they're able to use it. All right. So Elise starting top. Pantheon starting bottom. Uh, we will, if we see that aggression top from EG that we're talking about, you know, trying to get Inox going early mm -hmm. on that Yasuo, you know, Sube will be ending his route towards that side, and they might be able to swing this lane early. As a jungler and as a top laner, both of them have to be watching Shivana right now, watching Cruiser to see if he places his Trinket Ward so they can go for that aggression. Krepo already hitting a binding here onto Cutie Pie. Rewarded with a lot of harass. Oh, he hit the headshot. He was holding it very nicely. They're going to have some trouble just hitting level two in this lane. And they're already getting pushed back. So hopefully they can use this as an advantage. Poe Belter on Skara in middle. He looks Ooh. like he's going for QW real quick. It'll be interesting to see what he decides to level. Probably W, Blast Kara, Skara out of lane. Yeah, and Skara's shoving up here. He's already used his Trinket Ward. So he's got a window now where he can hug that top side and be safe because he has vision. But as soon as that does run out, he has to, again, be scared of Pantheon. Karth is very vulnerable to early ganks. So uh, we'll see his uh, aggression curbed oh, after Krepo. the vision drops away. <laughs> Oops. You still, yeah. still got the shield on you. Don't worry. It's, Don't worry. it's definitely not better late than never for Black Shields, by the way. They have to be on time or mm. it will not help at all. And we do see uh, Snoopy coming to try and assist Inox. He's coming through the lane because, as I said, they watched the Trinket Ward from Cruiser, saw him place it, and he knows he can't come through the river. This gank style takes a lot of patience because they're going to have to wait for this entire wave to die at the turret, or they're going to actually have to dive the turret and make use of that Pantheon passive. Looks like he opts for the second route here. Now, Snoopy, he's also waiting for the counter gank. Whenever your laner is shoved up, it's kind of the obvious gank there for Crumbs to go to, to the top lane. And Supe's really hoping that they can turn one around. Crumbs does not want to go for it, though, and Supe's going to be found out here. Cruiser gets one hit. Very nice, but he blows a flash right away, even with the burnout up. Ah, uh, he got this one down. Ward in the bush. Side lane bush control, very important for those. Yeah. They do a good job. Kiwi now. Kid's going to be able to grab it, but they keep vision, so the bush control is lessened just a little bit. We have movement down from Snoopy here towards the bottom lane. Maybe a bit of an invade on Wraiths, but we'll see if he goes for Scar as well. And he has placed his ward up in that tri bush when he leaves. So he still is providing Inox with support up top through the vision. Oh, hello! That's a lot of damage against the Wall of Pain down. The Flash is forced. The Repel keeps him there. They both get over the wall. Snoopy's going down. Skara may follow as well, though. Pobelter can't get another Clockwork. Why yeah. protect, but he can. Ignite. The Ignite takes him down. They go one for one. The Belter uh, coming to save Snoopy there, trying to make something of a really bad situation. Elise getting the jump on you in the jungle early. Ooh. Really, really painful, but they were able to turn it around, so... Good save there from EG. Krepo taking some more harass from Kiwi Kid. Ooh, I was going to say that was a real good bit of punishment, Ignite. but Kiwi Kid gets in a little too close. One more auto attack, and it's not going to be enough. Krepo flashes down on both sides for that one. And ignites. They shove him out of lane, too, though, and Yellow Pete's still here. They should be able to gain control of the lane now, forcing Cutie Pie back, making it more difficult for him to CS. Now he's going to have to try and fend for himself under the turret. Maybe this will be EG's opportunity to even up that CS score, get back in the lead. We have any more of those in just a few minutes. Skara is going to be one happy Karthus. I could have picked up some good money for him while he was already just coming back to the lane. So he'll be happy in this environment. Farming clean. Right now, 36 to 46. So he's actually behind, but he does have that kill to match. Now, I also do always like to look at that seven minute mark, see if there are going to be any second buff spawn invades mm. coming from either team. Because Snoopy was already killed in the enemy jungle, I doubt that he, he will have the confidence to go for one of those invades. But it's always a possibility, and you like to see Elise jungles and Pantheon jungles try and keep those timers uh, for secondary buff spawns. Oh. 
Stupe has an RSVP to this top lane with the flash being down on Cruiser. Let's see if Cruiser checks the bush again this time. Looks like he will not. Yeah, he's got a full bar here, so he can use his ulti to get back now, even though his uh, flash is down. He's got his charged up fury. Hasaki indeed. Ah, oh, Hasayu doesn't get the minion though. I'd rather get that minion than the harass. <laughs> Seven minutes into this one, we will keep an eye on those wards. The pink one goes down towards the dragon. A little bit of movement by Cutie Pie back towards as he comes from the blue buff area to make sure nobody's trying to get an edge on that. Crumbs on his red. We'll see if that blue buff gets an invade here in just about 40 seconds. Snoopy's right. in the top side. Doesn't look like pressure from the junglers are happening. Yeah, from so the lanes. Crumbs with a two level lead on Snoopy right now. Definitely going to be no invade from Snoopy, but Crumbs does have that option. Sweeper being used on Tribush means he thinks this will be a blind lane, <laughs> but it, there is the ward in the river, so Yasuo's got time. Yep, and Crumbs can see it. Yep. The telltale of the lane walking away. Inches. Very, very close. Inches from death. Yellow Pete forced to use that headshot on the Siege Wave. They're going to get this pushed up. I don't think he's got really anything to go back and buy just now, so they're in a good position to hold that lane, possibly draw some pressure out from Crumbs here. Dragon is becoming more and more plausible. Good damage there. So oh, much harass. Yeah, that was great. Just one Dark Binding into a whole pool and a tilt over Peacemaker. This uh, shoving lane here from EG working out. And the early gold start there, gold generation start from Prepo, mm -hmm. has paid off. Wow, that was very aggressive coming in. Pole Belter knows he has the upper hand here, at least in movement. Mm -hmm. He's back now, to lane. You see Crumbs, he flashed in there and immediately cocooned with red buff in human form. Uh-oh, he's a little bit short there. Didn't uh, see that. With red buff in human form, a lot of the Great times. Grab. Uh -oh, never mind. That shield. Late on that one. Should have been Stupid's never. coming in. Oh, the blue buff is going to be contested here. He gets the shield down. That's going to be the shockwave up for Poe Belter. He's getting quite low on mana here, so they got to use it right, and they decide to hold it, knowing they got the kill. Crepo with the kill secure right there. Double buffs on him. And they want to chain this one into Dragon. Scar is out of mana. This is perfect for EG right now. Able to get an objective. Oh, no, they don't. They give it up. They don't have the confidence to go. That's too bad for them. Because they killed the jungler, and the mid laner was out of mana. Mm -hmm. They just uh, were not aware of the situation. So now Crepo just sitting on plus 30% cooldown reduction. Kiwi Kid and Cutie Pie trying to dodge Dark Bindings all day in that bottom lane. It's starting to pay off for him. 70 to 71, but they're controlling the map. EG is not really one to have the bottom lane be their win. They're able to control where they're going with it after that. Yeah, okay, so the thing I was trying to get out about an Elise gank when you have red buff, flashing in for the auto attack red buff uh, slow, right? and then cocoon is, uh, is usually optimal because a lot of times as soon as you flash, your enemy will try and dodge. And so they lose distance there, plus you get the red buff slow. But man, that dragon being left up, right for the picking here from Dignitas, from being Elise is very, very happy to take this one Yeah, on the return. So a little indecisive by EG. Like you said, they get the kill in the jungle, and Dragon goes the dick. They may not have seen the mana bar on Skara um, and not known that he was completely dry. Okay. And since Snoopy was so low, uh, they, they second-guessed themselves. Yeah. But man, with Orianna and the shields that she could provide, probably could have pulled it off. Too little, too late, though. Uh, it does go over to Dig, and it is an even game once more. These hooks. That was a nice black shield, though. Crapper was getting a little more on point with these. Let's see what they try to do. Yellow Pete has been having a far better lane than usual, I'd say. He could be falling down by CS right now, and then usually sits off in the side lane, would just keep last hitting, trying to farm, and it does not help Evil Geniuses. But right now, he's fully part of the team. As they take down mid lane, EG starts to open up the map. Let's see what they can do for the rest of Dick and Toss. The solo lanes, as I said, there are a lot of times the focus for this team. Both are doing great. Inox has hit his power point with the static shiv. Now he does have a lot more offensive capabilities. And Pabelter did a great job in his <laughs> lane. He does recognize the pink ward there. Speeds right past it only to take it out in the end. Crumb's going for an invade while Snoopy camps top one more time here. Can they actually convert it to a kill? God. 
Seen Morgana quite a bit, but still it looks like players do not yet have the range of that Dark Binding down. Crepo takes advantage. They get another one, a nice shockwave. That's Trump gonna be a kill. In. That is not gonna be Scara getting a kill for himself, but he may be able to find the assist. The shield to come up for Pobelter. Wait a minute, Scara from Death Defy. He does oh. not get the kill, but Snoopy's gonna pick it up. The blue buff transfer back over, calculated for EG. And that whole time, Inox gets the top lane there. He's just bullying Cruiser right now. Good counter gank there from Snoopy. It was a little bit short there. Almost almost able to get the stun out. But even though Pobelter does go down, they get the double answering for two. So you can see that Pobelter, actually, as soon as um, Crumbs does show, he flashes away, and he's still able to get another command tag. So there's a flash away, gets the kill, and then he's almost able to kite long enough for Snoopy to join the party, but not quite here. Execute from Crumbs, but as we know, Snoopy still has Flash. Able to take him down. That is a nice big boost for EG, though. We're there to get the plays in. Snoopy was helping top lane and said, yeah, I can definitely be a part of this fight. 13 minutes in, 5-2 to two now with about a 2,000 gold lead. Just over. And looks like they're going to be able to just control the map. Two turrets in their favor so far. They're looking to drop the bottom one. They don't have too much safety if they go for Dragon on the side of Dignitas either now with that much map falling away. And that and all that flurry of action too. Uh, forgot to give props to Krepo for that kill on Kiwi Kid. He hit everything. Yeah. Landing the binding, landing the black shield on Yellow Pete for the retaliation right there and then going all in with his ulti. Well executed by him. So all sides looking pretty good here for EG. And another one does land. Let's see when it's going to be about time for Dig to group up because they have that Sivir and they've got Carpus. So I think they want Scar to finish another item first uh, before they actually go for that giant group and the roaming benefit that they can get from on the hunt. Right now, it's the siege up on bottom and they get some global gold that will go a long ways towards that item yeah. for Scar. How about dig a little bit more, maybe open up the dragon pressure as well, so they can get EG to be pushed back. Dig was already able to grab the first dragon. EG was caught sleeping a little bit on that. Now, since it looks like Scar is going for a Rod of Ages, it's a very late Rod of Ages. He uh, he got the boots upgrade first, and that thing takes 10 minutes to charge up. Snoopy going with a repeat counter on this blue buff, but he's in a real bad spot here. It's only because of what happened last time that Dig back off. They could have easily collapsed on him, but look at the vision for Dignitas. They didn't have the confidence that there was mm -hmm. there was no backup for Snoopy. They figured, why would Snoopy be coming in like this all by himself? No reason. He must have backup. So a little bit of a bluff there. Uh, playing, because, the, playing the mind games. Yeah, because it was a little late, they don't get the blue steel. And Scar is able to grab that one for himself. You see the harassment coming from Pobelter in mid lane. He indeed is leveling his W to crush Skara out of the lane with the ball after that. Not too worried about shielding himself. He's going to go ahead and get a push on mid. Being so safe on Ori. Pretty much do what he wants Ooh, look right at now. This. Look at this yep. action down bottom. This 3 versus 3. Who will show first from the junglers? Because Elise can easily land a stun onto Snoopy after he jumps in. There it is! One to one, there they go! It's oh, oh yeah. my word! He didn't even get a chance to blink in that fight. Crepo gets repelled on. He dodges out the uh, stun on that from the Soul Shackle. Very nicely done. <laughs> Soul Shackles him all the way up through the repel. They get the answer kills. I was wondering why that's really important who shows first because, as I said, after the jump in, it's so easy to land that cocoon and Crumbs coming up huge for that counter gank down bottom. Keeping Dig right in this one. Very, very close game here. That's going to do a lot to push Dig into that mid game where they can take advantage of the Sivir pick. Well, we watch it again here. It was just oh, wow. perfectly executed. They, they really were sitting in wait for that counter. And, you know, the repel, while it makes you untargetable, since the shackle's already on him, it still stays on him when he goes up. It doesn't make you invulnerable, right. just untargetable. Uh, so when he does come back down, able to pop that off. EG fans pretty happy with that so far. Second dragon up again. This could, this could be the tipping point because, as I said, it's so close right now. And Dig are, are in the well, area swarming here. They want to take advantage. 
but they cannot defend it. They have low mana on Skara, really couldn't get the AoE they need for the fight. Good choice, though, by Diggs. Yeah, a, a low mana Karthus is even less scary than a low health Karthus. Low health Karthus is still, still going to do damage to you, but a, a low mana Karthus is just... He's just there, Jack. just walking around. All right, now the uh, the grouping up for Dig is probably what we're looking for next, since the bottom turret did go down. Um, interested to see how that first team fight does play out, because Snoopy has the ability to start off the fight before Dig are ready and in position. Yep. Can he get another Grand Skyfall to combo? We haven't seen Inox put his damage to good use yet. He's He's been bullying Cruiser, but we haven't seen him kill anyone yet. Right now, it's uh, it's Crumbs that's up there looking to try and turn the tables, though. So he might get himself into a bad position. Yeah, and you're going to see Snoopy. He can Grand Skyfall a lot faster than Scar is going to be pulling out that Requiem. So he's all over the map. Scar is only going to be out the mid lane. Uh-oh. Another. Inox gets the Repel on. Cannot do much on that one. It's like the Dragon Scale is going to keep Cruiser safe. They get a kill in the top lane. They even out the kills at 5-5. Five to five. Well, We have a lot of EG here trying to take down mid lane. Crumbs, the shot caller for Dignitas, mm -hmm. making the moves. Bottom side of the map, counter ganking. Top side of the map, setting up another lane gank. Able to get Cruiser right back in, and here's the Snoopy drop. Going in on a Kiwi Kid. He's been the focus, and they give the same medicine back over from the last oh, fight. The Whoa, shot Scar gets a little too close, and he goes down. Requiem's up, but I don't think there's a reason to use it. Great job by Pabelto there, sucking in Scar to get another two kills here. They get two down and they push on the inhibitor turret. Not enough time for Dignitas to recall. This is a huge, huge win for EG if they can actually finish the turret. Great moves here. Oh, Crumbs trying barely. to come in. Whoa, Inox coming out, forcing the on the hunt. Will not get the pop up from the tornado. Looks like he can he's chase through a minion though. Watch. Unlimited he has one dashes. To the dash. It's going to be a few more before he can get another one on a cutie pie. He's got the speed. On the hunt, it looks gone. like he's got it. One, two, three, and the kill to come in for Inox on the coast to coast chase. The best thing about uh, Yasuo, you never have to give up on those chases through the long lane because you can dash through all the minions that are going to be coming your way. The purple minions betraying Lord Cutie Pie there and costing him a death. Yellow P trying to do what he can on the side of AD carries as we're looking at Cutie Pie and wait for him to get back in the game. Bloodthirsters on each side. A little more damage though for Cutie is gonna matter on those boomerangs. We haven't really seen Dignitas be able to group to utilize that team fight of on the hunt or anything. They're in split push mode almost. Yeah, you just have to give props to both junglers really. Yeah. Because true, true. Every time Crumbs getting his team back into the game, but Snoopy comes right back with a with a drop towards the mid that actually because of Pabelter's play, they were able to chain into that inhibitor turret. Yeah. It's I can do anything, you can do better. Such a huge, huge pickup for them. They really want that um, exposed inhibitor to be able to return to. Like you said, Scar trying to build up that Rod of Ages. I believe it was about 24 or 25 minutes. He's going to be looking at getting that fully stacked, but that's already going to be up against the Athene's Rabadon's damage coming in from Pole Belter. Scar is going to be that tank Karthus. He's not going to be that shred your health with the giant Requiem and Defile. Yeah, like as I said, it takes 10 minutes for that sucker to charge up. Mm -hmm. He's got a little bit more time to wait. Inox confident that Stupe has oh, his back. Oh, he pulls him back into the fight so he gets locked down. That's a good hit from Cruiser. Uh -oh. He kind of stops up Snoopy as well. And the I dragon's have no life here. No defense. And that's Cruiser being a dragon right now. He's got enough armor to face the ADs. Oh. And it looks like he's going to come up big. The ultimate is used just so Inox can get himself a kill and save a bit of face. But look at the mid lane. Kiwi Kid's about to go down, and so is the inhibitor on a big off-the-ball move here from EG. Side lane plays there for Dig. Uh, good collapse. Snoopy, even though he drops in, Cruiser is so tanky at this point, it takes him much too long to finish the kill. And Crumbs is able to retaliate very, mm -hmm. very close right here. Another win towards mid, though, for EG. So both of these teams answering back. Now, this is the uh, the fight that we saw before. No extra minions here for Inox to charge up his dash. But he does try and kite Cruiser back into the center of the Pantheon drop. And Snoopy at this point realized, oh, I have no defensive stats, so it's going to be hard. <laughs> I have to run away from the dragon. Uh, they end up getting that kill, though, in the middle. Yellow oh, P with the play. 
Flash, fast fingers, yellow peak coming in. Looks like he gets saved by the Black Shield. Age is coming up possibly for Snoopy. He already used the stun. As you can see, his block is up. They're forced off of that one, but he does have blue buff. Inox is also on the chase. They do not look like they're giving up pursuit. Yes, they do. Yeah, they don't have the speed there because Cutie Pie off the table on the hunt burned as well. Dangerous for Babelthor, though! Oh. Recalling in the river. You don't get a sale for window shot. Gives me flashbacks to big fat <laughs> LP. Dangerous place to recall with low life. Man, this is a very back and forth game. Even though the gold lead heavily uh, yep. EG, Dignitas keep coming up with plays. And that's so. something you gotta consider. That's actually pretty careless if you think about that. You know, not really giving respect to the other team, backing in just an erroneous area. Not very good. Pole Belter goes down. It's not like he had a killing spree or anything, but that's good gold for Crumbs. He's been the shot caller. It's making him feel more confident, and the team will follow, follow behind him. 23 minutes in, as we reach 23 minutes, I should say. 11 to 8. About a 3,000 gold lead in favor of EG as they're slowing down in their aggression. They weren't able to get the mid inhibitor, but it's coming slowly. They haven't been stopped whatsoever. They're still in a great position. Snoopy keeps on trying to get those hops. <laughs> but everybody jumps away. Lantern for Cutie Pie and Crumbs with the Repel has been pretty on point as well. Now, we get to see another 5v5 fight. This time, all tools mm. available for Dignitas. This is their time to shine. Even with the gold deficit, they have a great team fight here. Both teams. So we'll have to watch. Can EG pull off a good Shockwave Yasuo combo? Will Dignitas group up for it? Slowly, just kind of feeling each other out here. You know exactly where all five stand for each team. Now that Cutie Pie is in the fight, in. that was very dangerous. The dragon goes down. Not going to be too big of a worry for EG. They know they, or may know, they have yeah. still somewhat of a lead. You ask the players at this point in time, and they may say they think they're even, or we have a little bit of a lead, but not enough to do what we want. And that's maybe why EG is slowing it down waiting to go back for this inhibitor. They have to be very careful because Sivir is so good at punishing you for mispositioning. Anyone that they see out, uh, they can easily chase them down. And Crumbs, with him being so, so accurate with his cocoons, they actually have very good chase potential. So very cautious play for both teams now because they're so close. We just saw Snoopy typing out 28 oh something. I think it's 2840. We're going to see that blue buff for Pole Belter come back up. Right now, clearing waves with it. We have Yasu on the bottom lane. Inox has been tending to that, probably until he can drop that bottom first tier turret. Right now, just getting up the golems for himself. Let's see how much money he has in his pocket. He's late on about 1500, so he's got some good cash to spend. I think EG might want to wait for that infinity. Oh, never mind. It's completed. <laughs> Great. Infinity is completed say. there for Inox. Uh, they're very happy to do the, the combo now. Mm -hmm. That will be a devastating Shockwave Yasuo combo. Dignitas, though, they should be expecting this. And if they use on the hunt movement speed to spread out during the fight, it'll be hard for Pabelter to pull that off. So it's really up to Snoopy to uh, catch Dig off guard, I think, with a well placed Skyfall. Dignitas is definitely going power in numbers right now as they stick hip to hip inside their own jungle. Not really even placing wards as they go around. There we go. Getting a few out. One's found by Snoopy and they get another one down by Wraith. But to leave that dark would have been very scary. Key items as well for Dig. Uh, some power coming from Crumbs. He's doing his best to carry this game. As such, he's gone a couple of spell penetration items and has completed Leandri's. It's a good spell burn there for him. Heal. Is, is Dig going to really have the chance to stick in these fights unless they get tankier? Because you got the Infinity Edge damage, Rabadons, Bloodthirst, or Yellow Pea. That's going to be quick damage fast. So the thing is, EG have a lot of damage, but they don't have a lot of defensive stats. Take a look at these guys here, Snoopy and mm -hmm. Inox. Yes, they're both okay. high damage, but they're also both melee champions have to jump in. So if they don't get dig off guard with that Skyfall, and they don't coordinate their right. damage with their CC, then it could be devastating. If Snoopy gets hit by that cocoon, it could be his life. A good bit of damage from Dissonance there on the hands of Poe Belter as he just throws out a bit of zone control. CS in the lanes really kind of just not counting right now at 50, but there's kills in the top lane. We have a bit of 30 yeah. to 40 in that mid lane, and about 20 in the, the 80 carries. So everybody's doing what they can for each other. Krepo actually picked up quite a few kills in the early game that Yellow Pete may have wanted. 
Genji with a decent positioning here. Yeah. They have the vision control of Baron area. I'm always uh, very excited to see these damage teams play because it puts a lot of pressure on EG to be mechanically sound. And this is that scary part of the map, Kobe. This is where Dignitas says they really didn't want to be all game. And Krepo said they were going to use that against Evil Geniuses. Yeah. So we he see said, if they'll set it up. He said ignore that side of the map. You can't ignore it, though. <laughs> Got to have at least a little vision there. You can see them dropping wards into the back of Baron Pit. You can make it like it seems you don't care. Mm -hmm. Just kind of fluff it off. Yeah, it's there. Whatever. They're going to be definitely putting a lot of priority here. They're not fooling anybody. Crumbs cleaning up the pink ward. Uh -huh. EG's coming around the backside, and we have Inox in the top lane, so he may be able to Double pinch a buff fight. Cutie Pie. They just start this one out. Karthus oh, able God. to go. Here, we need the Grand Skyfall from Stupe. In, in, in. This is one of those situations, though. Dig almost Whoa. has to do this to put themselves back in a good spot here. A Shockwave gets two. There's Inox right in the middle of the fight, and it's going to be Baron going down. Crumbs gets it for the team, and Dignitas is going to have those stats to work with in the fight. Cutie Pie taking down Snoopy, and they are still going for kills. Two to two so far, and we're looking for one more. Yes, it is. Coming in very nicely on the yellow peak. Kiwi Kid Kiwi. over there. What a nice snipe. Man, this is huge for Dignitas. They're right in front of this game now. They get the Baron. They burn it straight down. They said they were going to ignore Baron. Probably just a bait by them. They're that was just, the tactic. They're trying to fake out EG. EG think that Dignitas, they're never a team to go for it. Dignitas overcome their biggest rival, the Baron. Burn him down, and they're able to get the kills after. You know, they get a high risk and high reward of now a 2,000 gold lead. They're still down in kills, but they are getting the map pressure back. This is something they have not had for the 28 minutes of the game right now. Great job by Dig to make this run. Back in the game easy. Man, that Great confidence. Job. They just burn it straight down there. Single target damage from Karthus is amazing on targets that are not moving around. Easy to just spam lay waste there. Great confidence by them. And mm -hmm. Crumbs came out big with the execute on Baron. Skara, a lot of these fights very quickly have allowed him to get a surge of power with that Rabidons. He's now starting to put out a bit of damage Ooh, that he was looking for. Ooh, they're coming for. through the bush here. Inox sees him. scary. On the hunt, it's just about to come. Ooh, very nice. Blocking that out. He'll stay safe. So dig in the bottom side of the map. They're kind of doing whatever they want right now with Baron down. They don't have to worry about too much. Their lanes are pushed. They're in a good spot. It goes Snoopy. He's got the black shield. Goes for Cutie Pie. Uh, and they, he zones him out of the fight. Krepo gets in the middle for a good ulti there. At the time that Crumbs gets the Baron, though, I, it really turns around. Them having Karthus is huge because Scar is able to get that guaranteed damage off. And we can actually watch the snipe. Sentenced to death there for Yellow Pete. Hook, line, uh -oh. and sinker. What happened there? That Scar was a big headshot. Scar is in a position he yeah. does not want to be. Looks like the team was just behind him, but they weren't able to get to the initial initial fight that actually got started because of it. Yellow Pete's headshot was a good 700 damage. Team wasn't able to react. 30 seconds on Scar now. We have 30 minutes on the clock as they start going for the mid inhibitor. Top's going to fall here from Inox, and he'll happily join the team at the second tier in just a few seconds. Yeah, he's got a strong split push. Uh-oh, Snoopy gets caught, though. That's a good shield. Stopping that execution damage, he would have taken quite a bit more. But they're going to be safe on this. Yellow Peach uses the long way around. Very good decision there. Five seconds left on Skara. Uh, he will be joining soon, so I don't expect EG to keep this up. Baron Buff will time out, though. Because of that play where they caught Skara, that's basically the duration of Baron Buff not going to much mm -hmm. use for this Dignitas team. And it's really just the gold lead now, which is not that big. This game is so close. See, the Cutie Pie has got himself back up, and CS almost hitting 300. He is near the most in the game. Inox is just two under him, but Inox has been split pushing the whole time. So Cutie Pie right. has done what the AD carry needs to do. Keep yourself farming. Dragons picked up here. Three of four going to Dignitas with this. Baron still swirling around them. Yeah, Baron just a little bit. Able to secure them Dragon, though. So I guess yeah. that is a, another good global gold. Hunk of change racked up for them. Again. Crumbs there with Elise. Very easy to execute that dragon. He did a good job staying cool, even with all the projectiles flying over the wall. Mikhail's Crucible being picked up by Kiwi Kid. He realizes that there needs to be peeling for Scar and Cutie Pie here. Mainly Cutie Pie trying to get himself out of the yeah. fight. Scar has been more than happy to go right into the middle. I like this. Uh, Cutie Pie going full damage build here. Yep. You need heavy Somebody damage. Somebody else build my safety. For that time. <laughs> 
Somebody else, exactly. Kiwi Kid, you can throw the lantern to me. That's yeah. great. I have an escape now. Plus, he has a Mikhail, so an extra heal, too. Everything seems great for Cutie Pie there. Now, all that's left to do is watch Cutie Pie's positioning in the team fight. Make sure that he does not get assassinated by Inox. Ooh, it looked like Inox put his sword away, but he was ready to go. Wallopane. flash. Very good flash there for Cruiser. Now some speed coming in. On the hunt was used from the backside oh, of this fight. They are wow. going straight in. Cruiser's still quite tanky, but he goes down the Requiem to do quite a bit of damage across the board. Crumb's trying to follow up for the team. The shots are, shot calling is being made by him, and since he can't hit the repel, it's called off. The late game Karthus does so much damage, though. Even though EG get two kills, win the fight, they lose control of the map here. They have to retreat everyone so low, they need to heal up at the fountain here. That's, that's what comes with building few defensive stats. They're very, uh, uh oh, yeah, they're still coming. Yellow Pete doing cones. He needs to be careful. Okay. Two minutes on to Baron. The timers are getting quite long here, so you actually have to consider when. Oh, the flash initiation onto Cutie. Like we said, they have quite a bit of safety for right. the McHales and everything. Another flash. Oh, wow, flash, fla mm. okay, everybody wants to flash. Yeah, EG were definitely on a different page there. Snoope, he thought when they come check this bush, we're going hard, everybody's going in. The rest <laughs> of EG backed out of the bush. That's and one of those, right, guys? Where'd you go? Yeah, so I uh, maybe uh, need to work on the communication there to have the plan. Hey, guys, we're all sitting in this bush. What do we do when somebody comes close? Are what we does, running? What does Fnatic do? Yeah, you kill, kill him. Kill, kill him whoever you see. 55.5 uh, to 52.8. Dignitas gaining that lead back with the gold. They're still down in kills, but it's not going to matter. They're taking position on the map, and that's really what can win you the game. We've said it before, we've seen CLG games go with almost zero kills on the board, and they're taking the win. So, there's a lot Ooh. of different ways it can happen, and Dignitas is looking to bring it back with a bit of Baron in this one. Ooh. A little pop up and down. So vision inside this jungle is going to be really important. Uh, if EG can get a lot of it down on the blue side, that opens up Grand Skyfall initiation. Uh, EG would love to catch Dig off guard, out of position. Mm. Make use of that global from uh, Snoope because in the team fight, straight up 5v5, we've seen how much damage Scar is doing. Guaranteed, even when he gets right. killed at the beginning of the fight, everyone's so low. Scar actually just drank his blue elixir, so that'll help him a little bit. Get some more damage and cooldown out of that. Yeah, he's seeing him glowing right there in the. He's a devastating push. force at this point. Good amount of pen coming from him. Void Staff, Rabadon's Blue Elixir. I don't think uh, Dignitas really wants to give up this next Baron, so they make sure Scar is in the middle. He can zone out anything that comes in. They burn it down so quickly. EG in the same position as last time. Coming in from the side, the hook goes. Snoopy's Banshee's Veil is actually hunt. not died on that. He gets the Black Shield. Cruiser goes in. They actually ages him right away. The crowd oh! control may not be there. The shock wave coming in. Very nice job. Scar is still throwing down the Requiem. EG may have this fight, though, as they position themselves in the brush. That's warded by Dignitas, as they can still see. Great Yellow shot. Pete. Yellow Pete has the red buff. No hook coming from the other side. A Kiwi Kid, and they're able to finalize, securing one more. The shield saving his own life. Kiwi Kid uh -oh. limping away from this fight. Support is going first to go down. Here. Krepo's on the hut. He'll be the first man to the scene. Kiwi Kid testing his luck, and he will be He's safe. Good to go. They turn their sights toward the objective Baron. Dragon, though, wants to answer for his brethren here. <laughs> Cruiser could kill everybody. Uh-oh. Cruiser's a big, big boy. However, he does not have Dragon's Descent up oh, or anything to charge oh. that off of. But the burnout, oh, that God, high damage, everybody. he's going to chomp. Now he's getting hit by Baron. He only took one hit, though. He is the not going to know the oh. shield. Paul Belter doesn't have the mana just yet. They can still turn it around. The oh. binding just misses. That's a Dragon Tail for you. Cruiser doing work for Dignitas. Oh, this game is so ridiculous, Rip. All right, let's watch it again here. Dignitas, this is a really good defensive maneuver from EG. They stop the Baron, and then they bring Dig Ooh. to engage oh through. Oh, my word. Man, what a great shockwave into Yasuo counter here. And then, even though they're fighting on Karthus' body, they come in with all the range. Everyone's standing just outside of that defile, trying to uh, shoot down the rest of Dig, having Scar down. And my god, they return to the scene of the crime. Yo, we had a... Inox going for a split push, though. This is not going to be a contest for EG. They're just going to trade a turret this time. 
Second Baron of the game going over to Dignitas. That means a big gold lead is now going in their favor. However, the Dragon, now average at his highest level in the game, can offer just about the same amount of gold. So with EG getting a turret, they still have other things they can, they can focus on and not have to take on this Barroned up Dignitas now. It seems like they found a way to stave off their nightmare and make it a part of a, a good dream. <laughs> Man, now we're going to fight over the Dragon. This time, Barroned up Dignitas. They do have on the hunt as well. EG have to be careful about waiting around on this. They should probably just grab this gold, kill Dragon, and run for the hills. <laughs> Get out. Run! Everybody run! High ground. Where is it? 19 Where do we to go? 5, 2K. This game is so close. 6 to 5 in turrets. Dignitas had a ridiculous surge oh. in power since this Baron, since Look at their the Baron engagements. The vision for Dig is all on Baron side. Vision for EG all on blue side. So EG can ab actually have the opportunity to make a play on Cruiser here. They're going to go for it. All right. This could be a Baron and a tank off the field. There's the... Banshee. Banshee's down. Is down. There's the jump from Snoopy. They're in range. The Randuin. entire team is going down mid oh, from Dignitas. Randuin. They're going to try to take the inhibitor turret. How much will they put on to Cruiser? Cutie Pie is the first one there. He has got minions to tank up this. That means the resistances of the turret fall as well. And they're going to be pushing through nicely. Yep, Dignitas going to get the inhibitor at least for that one. They might even go on Nexus turrets. Cruiser now trying to stop the recalls for the rest oh, of EG. The mind game is going too well right now. Home guards, they were definitely in the uh, the money coming in for EG. They've been able to pick it up on Pole Belter and Snoopy to stave off the aggression, stop the bleeding. At least that inhibitor is the only thing that went down. Now EG is going to try to answer with the same thing, but Dignitas has really been working this late game nicely. Let's see, EG, they do have the split push going for them. Inox. Pretty decent split push at this point. So they might opt for that route. I, there's not really a way to deal with the late game Karthus damage at this point. With his uh, the items that he's got, he's working on the Zanyas. Okay, Snoop is going for it. The initiation, two Banshees. Ooh. Two Banshees and a Spell Shield still. Like, Cutie Pie's got so many answers. Here's the whole team as well. EG need to back off. Little pokes of damage in. Having Yellow Pete really helps them stay a good distance away from the turret. A wall of pain can mean a huge initiation for Dignitas. So you have to keep safe. EG is not going to really try and mess with a turret that goes back and forth. They're just going to go ahead and stop for now. EG are still making moves, though. They keep on pushing up a lane, even though they're down in gold. They push up the lane, then hide in a bush. Push up a lane. Hide in a bush. It didn't work out last time because they went for the tank who had flash and a uh, dragon's ascent up, but they almost got it. That the Randuin slow is really the kicker there for them. So bush gank number two. Yep. Those two sweepers right now. And are again, it's going to be cruiser oh, the God. target. Crumbs is going to check this bush though. Oh, uh -oh. just one. Inox not is not going to want that. Abort mission. Abort mission. Yeah. Return to base. It was a quick problem right there. EG does not go forward unless they have those two sweepers active. That's pretty much their left and right foot right now. If those sweepers are up, they can start walking forward. Yeah. One is uh, bush checker number one. Yep. Bush sweeper number two. 40 minutes in, Dignitas. A little bit more of a hard fought battle than what we would have thought coming out of the early game. Minions crushing down into the mid lane right now, and Dignitas is going to be able to dictate where this game goes from here on out, unless EG makes a big play here. Now, it's going to be high risk, high reward for them e as it comes this out. This is a great uh, Skyfall for Snoopy. If they post up at the turret, a well-placed Skyfall might be able to do it for them, because Dignitas, um, they're, they're short range here, PD5 on Sivir. Uh, I guess Crump even has a better chance of getting hits on this turret than yep. him. So it's hard for Dig to actually get in to attack the turret, and especially since inhibitor turrets have regeneration, right. they have to hesitate outside there. And it's really hard for this dig team to actually go into the base, whereas There's, you yeah. know, the objectives outside, much easier to fight over. There's so many things that can capitalize on a small mistake from Dignitas, mm -hmm. even though they are a bit ahead. The Shockwave, Morgana's ultimate coming in, or even a Dark Binding, Snoopy, and even Inox can get you in a wrong spot at the right time. So Dignitas is really sweating bullets as they approach the base, like you said. Not even the man drop. They know where that, or they don't even know, I should say, where the man drop's gonna be coming from. 
The wards are going out for Dig as they back. They can see the EG is just slowly taking their own jungle, giving Dignitas time to breathe. Both teams figuring out where to go from here. The shot calling, getting a little more tight from both of those I shot I think callers. Dignitas are pretty confident, though. They're, they're banking on this super late game Karthus, super late game Sivir. And they're the ones with the tank here on Shivana. Once Shivana does get that blade mail now, she is a true annoyance for Yellow Pete. Very hard for him to deal with this. Even though there is no flow from Blade of the Ruin King, all he has to do is get in Yellow Pete's face. So Dignitas is pretty confident towards the late game. Uh, that's why they're playing it a bit slower here and not rushing. They can easily force fights at out things outside the base, like Dragon, like Baron, like Exposed Inhibitors. They don't have to go up against those turrets until they actually kill someone from EG. Well, we can see the result that Dignitas is getting right now is definitely the result of less mistakes in the late game. Somewhere they would just try too much, push themselves outside of their comfort zone, and they really start to fall behind. But they have not lost the gold lead since they started doing Barons, and they've been able to keep the lane pressure up as well. EG hasn't even had a turret to pressure. Dignitas moving up the mid lane now to put that final staple in the game yeah. if they can get a good fight in. They're 40 seconds on Baron, 20 on full item builds there. Cutie Pie, mm -hmm. the only thing he has left to do is trade out those boots for uh, Zephyr. All right, so try and force fight Exposed Inhibitor. They give it up. Snoopy coming in. Here's the fight. Not many dig. Moved on that one. He gets a four man, maybe even a five man. Grand Shot with two. on that one. Inox no using follow. the wall. Nobody wants to go in. Like you said, no follow there. The Inhibitor is going to go down in the fight as well, but EG is being pushed off. Scar gets taken down, and here comes the Inox Requiem in the damage. Back. Yellow P on the side, dropped. Ace in the hole from the other one. And it looks like they are just going to be able to take down Inox on the backside, like you said. Guardian Angels down there, Ooh. so it's just going to get harder for EG. So close. Right there. The idea is kill Skara and then kite backwards, wait out the duration. But Inox had gotten so deep into the back line, they, he was not going to be able to get out even with his GA. Uh-oh. Baron numero dos. Can we get extremely low for this one? Oh. That's the only thing they want getting close to the fight now. Pole Belter just trying to sense everything out with that zone. Looks like they are going to back off. I don't think they want to even try Baron right now. Diggs the one who's been trying to formulate this. Inox is down and Skara is down, which is big on that AOE damage. Ooh. Control of Baron area. But they're trying to control Very important. It. Cutie Pie might be walking into death here. Nope. Uh, so in that last fight also, uh, Kreplo did a great job of controlling Skara. Using his ultimate, actually, and the second stun there, then him flashing out after. It was just a very uh, impressive job controlling that mid lane as a support towards the end. You can really see that this head-to-head -head is one-to-one -one between these two teams. This whole game has spelled that out. PewDiePie trying to be the factor of his team here. 443 CS on Sivir. Now with the Infinity Edge built up, he himself has a Banshee's Veil. But like oh, we've been man. saying, everybody's building AD here before they go for the safety. This game is going too late to not have that damage. Zanyas is up for Skara as well. So as long as he is quick on the trigger finger, he doesn't get CC'd mm -hmm. before he can use it. That same strategy that EG just used will not work in this second team fight. If they try and burst him down and then kite back, the Zanyas will definitely throw a wrench in that plan. Somebody uh, needs to recognize this, though, and make that call. Mm -hmm. It's getting very difficult here for EG, though. A lot of flashes are down. If you look at both sides, a lot of ignites are down as well. So this fight is going to be at the capacity of you're staying in here. Do what you can. Now, if Dick do go for the Baron, everyone's going to get that magic damage buff on them. Oh, you're staying in here. Do what go. you can. It's going to be Cutie Pie, Baron, and Snoopy going on. We have a fight that's completely spread here. Pull belt goes Zanyas. for Zanyas. Zanyas on the two, two sides, and it's going to be both mids going down. EG now trying to do what they can to clean up the fight, but Dignitas just has the help. They just have the numbers, and it's going to be Krepo going down. A triple kill for Cutie Pie at 450 CS. He's looking for another one, oh. possibly a quadra kill. But no, the ace coming in for Kiwi Kid. And they're going kid. to end the game they're here. they're going to the mid. They are ignoring Baron running straight up the middle. This should be Nexus turrets. Dignitas 
really staved off the bleeding in the beginning of this game. Huge moves coming in across the map from all of Evil Geniuses. Dig doing what they can now as they start in the Nexus turret for the possible win. What a game here from EG and Dignitas. So back and forth. Yeah, give it up for them, both teams. Great Very games. Impressed. Both of them wanted to end on a high note this week. I don't think any of these teams, either of these teams, I should say, could be really displeased with it. The loss is obviously a loss for EG. They have been playing well. Dignitas pulling out the win in this one. Down in kills, pulled themselves up in gold around 30 minutes, and were able to find the win after multiple Baron attacks. That guy from in the early game, keeping the team in it while they wait for the late game. Karthus and Sivir to pull them through. They have completely battled their demons in this game. The top side of the map. Yeah, they faced Baron. Wow. They burned him down. They had uh, definitely a bone to pick with that, that guy. Taking down Nasher twice, a forced third fight as well that did not look good. Snoopy continuously trying to do what he could, and he still had a great game on Pantheon. Both teams played so well, you can't not, you cannot take anything away from either team. Yeah, very hard to get those. He's just Pantheon shaking his head. Just right shaking time. his head. That's Think what you do after a 70 plus minute game. I'm tired. Go take a nap.